guys and welcome to vlogmas week two i am starting this vlogmas in my favorite place please can i have festive stack meal medium or large large please and can i get the festive chicken Okay, if that's all good on the screen, you order number 56 at the next window. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god, my car. Guys. This is not okay. Sorry, I've started this vlog a bit of a strange place. I'm just going through the McDonald's drive through and having a McDonald's, loving life. Diets don't start on Monday anymore around here. They obviously start on Tuesday. Let's get actually into what I'm doing. So this is Vlogmas week two. I hope you all loved Vlogmas week one. Vlogmas week one was actually quite funny because definitely go watch it if you haven't. I thought it was gonna be like such a boring week and I actually ended up doing so much. So hopefully this week will be similar. There is literally hardly anything planned. I think tomorrow I'm going to London. Yeah, so it's the 6th of December. So obviously I started week one um, or in the end of November because obviously that was the first Monday. But anyway, happy 6th of December. Christmas is creeping up. It's literally in 19 days. That doesn't seem right. That is so strange. I'm usually, usually by this time, I'm that person that has all of my Christmas stuff, Christmas shopping just all done, like really, really early. I think um, one of the years I just did it all in October because I had a trip when I was flying for BA as cabin crew. I had a trip to Orlando in October and I thought, perfect. But it was literally like 24 hours in Florida and we used to stay in the mall in Orlando, like the main one. So Christmas shopping there, Bath and Body Works. Oh, honestly, I wish I could go back. But instead, I am here in rainy England. I need to get away ASAP. But anyway, I'm going to have this McDonald's because I'm just going to drive back. I'm not going to eat in the car park and I will speak to you all later. Hi. Guys, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's so bad. It's Monday, but wow. We've got the cheese bites. We've got the fries. We've got the dip. Obviously, my fries are really small because on the way to the house, I literally ate all my fries. That's why they're so small. Chicken nuggets. This is the chicken stack festive thing this is the brioche one i'm a bit gel of that one because it looks really nice so i'm going to eat this and then do a bit of work i've got to do a tiktok for case to fire and yes yeah, so i'm just gonna get some work done i was gonna go to london to go to my dentist but my thing for my invisalign hasn't actually arrived so we're gonna rebook that so it's just a chill monday look at this weather by the way is that not the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Because it is definitely one of mine. Oh my God, there's a blanket out there. It's just completely soaked. But yeah, chill Mondays for me. Okay, I really don't look my best right now, but how cute is this? dressing down i'm going to decorate this christmas tree now it's obviously a completely different house so yeah i might put you in a little time lapse or might just show you the end result but just having a chill monday and yeah might make myself a cup of tea i've been actually wanting one for quite a long time now and i've literally just watched the parent trap i haven't watched that film in literally so long um it's such a good film i had to actually type up this is literally so stupid i had to type up whether lindsay lohan was actually both of the girls because i don't know the way they've done it and the way they've like changed like, you know how when she's in the same scene, the two twins, it really does, like, look like two different people. Oh, my God, guys. Look, they're all standing up, clapping on the sixth minute for Arthur. Because he was six years old. Aww. Mm. Oh, I love you 
so much. If you guys have researched or even seen the story about Arthur, it is just so awful. And I put on my Instagram story, I said, it actually just sickens me that there are people out there that just would do that. And honestly, one night I proper sort of looked into it and read all the articles about it and saw the videos and stuff. And that video of that woman basically telling a lie, saying that he did it to himself and the 111 call and the video of the man the policeman the web thing the camera that he's got attached to him it honestly is the most disgusting thing i think i have ever seen in my whole entire life so that is really really awful rest in peace arthur that's just awful so guys milo was actually born with a full black nose Milo, do you want to tell everyone? Do you want to speak to everyone today? I'm not sure whether you do. But anyway, he was born with a full black nose, weren't you, Milo? And we're not sure what happened. Because it has turned very pink over the years. Right, anyway, guys, I am going to... I am going to now decorate this tree. I will speak to you all, guys, after. See you later. I have just had the best delivery ever. Ever. I, could, I might go as far to say ever. And it was hand delivered, it was handmade and hand delivered. So, Bex Bakes UK. I've literally just put her on my Instagram story because she's just so lovely and she bakes the most amazing brownies. I've meant to, I was meant to basically get these, like, I've been meaning to get these brownies basically for ages because they just absolutely look incredible. So, if you are from anywhere in the Brighton area, especially obviously Christmas is coming up, and like, even like, if it was my birthday and my friend came around with one of these brownie trays, I would be loving life. Right, let's just get to the point. Follow her on Instagram or order brownies from her and literally thank me later. This is not an ad at all. I'm not getting paid to say this, but honestly. So I said Kinder Bueno and um, Biscoff. She has pulled through. Can we just take a sec? She has cooked these tonight. So they are still warm. If there was smell of vision right now, look at that. <gasps> oh! Okay, diet definitely starts tomorrow. Wow. Wow. Guys, I cannot wait to eat these. They literally look insane. So I am going to be eating these, definitely. Well, not both of them. <laughs> Um, I would if I could. They literally look amazing. And she's so lovely. And I feel like it's so important to like support small businesses. So I would definitely do that. Anywhere near the Brighton area, do that guys. I would highly, highly recommend. Now I'm gonna tuck in. Me and Milo have decided to have a big Monday afternoon cuddle i don't think you guys realize how much i actually love this dog you know what i'm not even sure what time it is i reckon it's probably quite late this has been a super <laughs> this has been a super chill monday and i will see you all tomorrow bye hey guys a room tour first of all you've got the right I've actually stayed at this room quite a lot of times, so you guys are probably fully aware of this hotel room if you are a YouTube gal. But yeah, it's quite a nice room. And now Murray's going to come and he's going to make me look presentable because this is not a very nice look. Hi guys and welcome back. Still in the hotel room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> again. Joined by... <laughs> 
Um, Murray has kindly done my hair really, really no notice because he's doing Lily's hair. So he said he would kindly do mine. So we're just going for like waves, but. Cuteness. Oh. I was just telling my mum, just even like, even if you do the classic wave, yeah. it's, it's not like I can do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like a classic wave, but Murray style isn't a classic wave. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a really nice wave. <laughs> Does that make sense? That fucking makes no sense to me, but. Yeah, it will look really nice. I still don't know what I'm wearing. It's just so cold outside. Oh, yeah. You'd think it was December and Christmas or something. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. But anyway, I just thought I would update. Mummy, have you done your Christmas shopping yet? No, I've not started yet. You're not? No. I don't have time. No, I know what you mean. I'm running about London doing your hair. You literally are. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Right, I'll show you guys all the end result in a little bit. Bye. So guys, mind the really messy room. I've decided to go for this really, really cute Manu Devor um two piece. Chloe wore the black one to Millie's and I loved it. So I've got for the nude and I've got this really cute little Bottega bag and shock I'm wearing my wire circle. So I don't really go, but I've got these nude ones that I bought with me and they are literally the most uncomfortable things ever. So I'm going to go downstairs now and have a couple of drinks. We're a little bit early, but yeah. So guys, I'm here. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Guys, you here are just... They're like no other, aren't they? Honestly, my life has come to the fact that I'm taking this Guys, I am back and look what I'm watching. I can't believe I've never watched this before. It's Miracle on 34th Street. I feel like I'm the last person to ever watch this movie because I feel like literally everyone's watched it. Oh, and also, look what I've got. Festive. And it's like a festive little panini thing. Yeah! So I am very much in the festive spirit. Guys, do you not think that looks like a perfect moon that you would see in like a horror story or something? I think it's with like the um, tree. See the tree? Oh, see that tree there with the tree like hanging over and the really like mistiness of it. I don't know, I just think that looks like a perfect moon. Like, and obviously not like a full moon, but like a perfect moon that you'd see in a horror film. Anyway. Into her six garden centre. Right guys, so we have decided to go to her six garden centre because garden centre, you guys probably won't know what her six garden centre is. 8th of December and the Christmas decorations aren't still fully up. Right, we've turned into a bit of bridemans this uh, this Wednesday afternoon. We're a bit, you know. Yeah, so anyway, gonna go to the garden centre because we were trying to untangle the lights. They are just like, they are just actually impossible i don't know how people do it so we're gonna go do that and also well i'm really extremely hungover and it's ten past five so i just want to have a really chill night in but obviously i wanted to catch uh i wanted to go to the garden center just before i was at six so i want to go do that and i haven't actually been to this garden center since all the christmas decorations are up <gasps> but anyway I'm gonna go and see you at the garden centre because I am fully aware that it's so annoying when I'm vlogging in the car. I was re-watching some of the clips and I'm like this. I'm talking to you guys and I'm like, hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Like you just, it's just not, I don't know how to hold things still. But anyway, okay, I will see you all at the garden centre, bye. Guys, the garden centre is my favourite place in the whole entire world. I think I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, that's really cute. They're like pink. 
Look. Oh my god. I need to be quick though because we did come for lights. You don't want to get too carried away, do you? Oh, look. Okay. They've done it all different now to how they did it last. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Oh, guys, look. I just love Christmas. Oh look, here we go. This is where I got them before. Timer function. No, there's a function. That is plug though. To be honest, I just get the cheapest ones because we're no, but just because um I'm probably gonna throw them away and get new ones next year anyway, like we always probably do now. But I reckon these ones to be fair. These ones. I like the warm. Warm. Warm colour. No, I like the warm. No warm, definitely warm. warm. But we've only got one, there's only one warm. Oh my god. Oh look, a thousand warm lights. You guys have just witnessed how to be lazy 101 and not detangle your lights. But instead, go to your nearest garden centre and buy warm lights. Guys, I remember last year in this garden centre, they have a wall for each different colour. To be honest with you though, I feel like we do actually have quite a lot of these. I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. The Pampers grass is a new one, 2021 special that. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Going straight in my basket. That's nice to know. You go over here and see what's over here. Pink. Yeah, do you like that? It's a bit yellow gold though. That's yeah. the good blend. I don't know what that means. Oh. 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 Yeah, look at her. Mum said there's ones in that. Oh my God, there's a silver one. That is really cute, isn't it? Do you think they've got a gold one in there? Oh, guys. Do you remember the vlog one? Oh, that's cute. This is like a black theme. They didn't have this last time. Oh, look. It's like um, a nature theme. Imagine having like a nature theme tree. That really reminds me, this reminds me of Peter Pan, this wall. Right guys, so basically, there is just no way, unless we want to stand here for about half an hour trying to sort this out, untangling those lights, the quickest option was to get just a new set. So that's what we've done. So I'm going to now decorate the tree. I am so excited. Guys, I'm gonna do myself do a little quick haul for you all. But can I just say, Marie, the hair? Still a bit of a vibe. Right. First of all, we have this little ball ball. How cute is that? Next up, we have this little ball ball. Cute, cute, cute. Next up, can I just say, when I was in the garden centre, I do actually remember seeing a lot of the ones that I saw in there from the year before. So I didn't go crazy, and obviously I'll add them along the way. This is an 80mm coral ball champagne. How cute is that? Cute. And then I saw this one, just because it's a darker grey. Yeah. And then I thought when I'm putting on the Christmas decorations, I can treat myself. To be honest, these do look insane, but I don't actually know if I'm like feeling. Right, I'm going to put on my phone on charge and I will see you all in a little while. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 
guys. So I've just done the Christmas tree and I'm gonna show you all now. So the theme is just gold, champagne, little star at the top. We did try out the um, angel, wasn't too sure, so went for the star. But have a look at some of these baubles. They are just like so cute. Little butterflies. I've just got little bows from last year of the same colour. I don't know where I got this flower from. I really, really want to um, get another one. Because I love that. Love that heart. So yeah. Love, love, love. And just one other thing. When I was getting the decorations out of the loft, I noticed last year I bought a load of these pink baubles thinking that I really want a pink Christmas tree. And I just didn't know. So I've looked in the loft and there was this little box. Look, should we go through it together? I think we should because this is just as much of a mystery as it is for you. Right, let's have a look. Oh my goodness. I wonder why I bought these after Christmas last year. What's this one? I can't tell it really one-handed. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited to have a um, pink tree. And I've noticed they have such cute pink baubles in the... Oh my god, this was like really good... Um, quality it's really heavy oh look at all the pink right next one. Oh my god how pretty right last one oh my god there's a spider oh my god so i'm gonna put these on the tree in the hallway it's up, it just needs to be like sprucing up a little bit. Cause you know when you get a brand new um, fake tree, the branches aren't like all, do you know what I mean? You need to do it by hand. So I'm gonna do that. Luckily that's pre-lit, the one in the hallway. All I need to do is just turn it on, spruce up the trees. And then I'm gonna put these on it for now. And then I'm gonna go to the garden center tomorrow and get loads of like cute pink ones. And I'm gonna get, make like a really pink and girly Christmas tree in the hallway. Cause I feel like, this really suits this room. And then pink. Well, pink doesn't really suit the hallway, but I think it'll be cute. So I'm gonna go do that now. So guys, as I've just said, this is the main one. Gold sort of champagne theme. And I've just started this pink one. Obviously I need to get more bubbles, but. Oh yeah, this was so annoying. It came and it looks broken at the bottom. Like that doesn't look normal, does it? But we just couldn't be bothered to return it, which was probably quite bad. It was from, um, it's from, oh here, Balsam Hill. Look how cute that is going to look. Oh, and I actually can't wait to go get loads of pink bubbles. And then in the corner over there is going to be silver. Oh my God, guys, I also did not show you my new shoes. Look at my new shoes. I'm sorry. Look at them. Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen in your whole entire life? And even on the shoelaces, it says shoelaces. Oh, oh he died, didn't he? Oh. That's quite cute, actually. I didn't, well, not cute, but that's quite, I didn't realise that he was on the actual show. Oh. Guys, one final time I'm showing the tree just because the lights are off. Well, partly off. Oh, no, they are off in the room, actually. Oh, my God, that's so weird. It's so bright, this Christmas tree. It makes me feel like there's lights actually on um, in the living room. But, oh. Just such a cute tree. I'm literally just obsessed. I can't wait for the other ones. 
hello everyone and happy thursday so it's currently the evening on thursday i was really really silly and didn't bring my camera with me so what i did today was i went to town i bought my uncle a christmas present i don't know whether he watches my youtube or not so i'm not gonna say what it was what have you got to say to everyone you say hi everyone sorry i've been absent off youtube for a while i'm back again living my best life oh no oh. so anyway the plan for today was to go to town on oh, my top left tooth tooth my top left teeth what singular for a tooth tooth how did i forget that anyway i went to town i was gonna get a picture in my outfit it was really really cute i had like a little gilet number all nude like cream vibe but the weather i'm sorry there was no way wasn't there money there was absolutely no chance um so didn't do that but i had a little walk around to be honest you didn't really miss much and i had such a big lion this morning what the actual hell i felt like my body just needed like sleep but got back made myself a cup of tea like i always do and yeah just gonna have an evening of chill and that's about it Oh yeah, for the first time ever I had those, I ate those, um, those like seaweed slices that you get from Itzu. Because I keep like seeing people have them and like people snack on them and stuff. Honestly, not for me, not for me. I've no, I love sushi, I say seaweed. I do like seaweed from the Chinese, but I don't even think that's seaweed. I think that's literally just shredded up pak choy. That is shredded up pak choy with some uh, sugar on it. If you do not believe me, type it up because I've had this debate. Lots of people think it's actually seaweed. It's only actually seaweed if it's like a really, really, really posh Chinese restaurant. But like all Chinese takeaways, most of them are just 99.9% .9 of them. Look, Milo's being naughty. He wanted to get that little black thing with his paw yeah it's the camera milo yeah does it smell nice it's the camera milo moo moo it's the camera oh my baby right anyway i will see you guys all later to be honest it hasn't been a very fun day but tomorrow, I will need to get this picture. But I saw it first. So I will do that. And yeah, speak to you all later. Bye. Happy Friday, everybody. So I look a bit mad. I've got two rollers in. I feel like with these really, really heavy hair extensions i just can't put a full head of rollers and i probably could but also i'm running out of clips and because my hair is just so heavy clips are an essential to rollers i know some people can do it without but unfortunately i cannot i thought i would come on here quickly oh quickly and say what i'm doing today i'm gonna turn that down a little bit i am going to go see millie chloe toby and liam later um i think we're gonna go to sheesh in essex so that'll be really fun i've never been before so that's exactly why i wanted to go i've heard the food is honestly amazing i really really want to quickly show you this as well so i did a little etsy haul for all my christmas wrapping christmas cards I'm not, like, I've never really properly shopped at Etsy, but I really want to support small businesses, and, yeah, I love doing that. So, this is exactly what I'm going to show you. So, this is part of my Etsy, one of my Etsy ones that I've come. Christmas wishes. Look, so, I don't know whether this girl obviously watches Love Island, or, I don't know, maybe she's just wrote me a note, but how nice is this? So, follow me on Instagram. Instagram is oh you guys might need to just scan that I'm not sure what the Instagram is oh look with love EK design 
So I was just scrolling through Etsy and I came across this little company. And how cute are these cards? It says, happy, oh, happy Xmas bestie. So happy Xmas bestie. Fizz the season, love that one. Merry Christmas, love that. Right, those are those three. Merry Christmas. I like that one. That one might be good for a male because I feel like these are all very, these are all good for my besties and then that might be just for like my uncle or something. Merry Xmas bestie. Got another one of those. Happy Christmas. I love that one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, and she said that she added a few more extras for me. So thank you, Erin, at EK Design. So guys, mum has, well, mum hasn't done it. Look at that. I'm with the wreath. Oh, just love Christmas. Look at mum. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's beginning to look a lot <laughs> like Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you don't know the family of the dogs. So this is Bonnie, mum's Westie. What are they doing? No, 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 no. Right, this is Bonnie, mum's Westie. And then this is my dog, Milo. Milo and Bonnie hit it off. And they created Bruno. So this is literally a family of dogs in our house. Bruno isn't a pedigree, obviously, because he's half pug, half Westie. We honestly had no idea what he was going to end up looking like. But Bruno, he's got a little underbite, bless him. Look, because pugs have underbites. But anyway, that's that. And also, look at this. So, Mum's getting all ready. <gasps> look, what's over here? Mint pie. Shall I wait till tomorrow? Yeah, when it's all going to be. It does all look nice, though. So, I'm just going to make sure. Um, I'm just going to make sure I've got everything to go see me and Chloe. And then I'm going to start driving to Essex. Hour and a half drive. It's really not that bad, actually, but it's best just to get it done. Oh, my God. Does anyone else's parents just, like, buy the most crazy things? I'm dancing to this radio, too. I've seriously lost the plot. Right. I am going to go and carry my packing. See you guys later. Hey guys, I'm into the call. So, I'm back. No, you said put it down. Better than ever. Millie, Chloe, Millie, Liam. Hello. Hello, bad boy. Hello, good boy. You're not looking at the screen, are you looking at the camera? Yeah, I was looking at the screen too. We are off to Sheesh now. I'm actually the worst vlogger ever because I just don't vlog, but I will see you all at Sheesh. Guys, so it's quite later on in the night now. I'm the worst vlogger in the whole entire world, but it's okay. Yes, guys, we are pretty drunk. <laughs> I'm Liam, in case you haven't met me yet. But yeah, I'm pretty drunk. And <laughs> Oh yeah, a little bit of 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 a
Just make sure that we look okay and then look back at the camera. It should be above. Snap, snap, snap. But they're snap. There's too many drinks on the table for next week. I've got the makeup on yet. It's okay, you don't have your makeup on, Mum. You've got to show us. Come on. Come on, then. I've got my makeup on, you'll have to do it from the back. I'm doing it from the back. Do it from the back. Ewan Christmas jumper on. God, this this bottom I'll is... I squeeze your bottom. Right. <laughs> Mum, I'm going to squeeze I'll squeeze that. That's Mum's bigger than mine. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Mum's done it so nice. What's in here? Mum's fine. <gasps> yeah, but it needs to be heated up. So just this is all the prep. Okay, it's only the prep. Yeah? Oh. oh, I was gonna put um, Milo's little Christmas scarf. Oh, look. Bruno, come on. Milo, you should have put your little Christmas scarf on today. baby, Bruno. Oh, I'm looking at you. No, I'm not. I haven't got any makeup on. That's fine. Oh, wow. That dress makes you look so nice. <laughs> oh. God, that dress is so nice on you. Do you think? You look tinsy. That's the idea. Look at the Christmas tree. That'll be, that'll be. I feel like there's nothing. Oh, look at that! <laughs> you with the Christmas tree in the back. It looks so Christmassy. I feel like there's nothing better than a Christmas tree like that's proper homely and family. Like I feel like me growing up, I always had such like a mix and match like tree where there was never a theme. It was just like random baubles, and yeah, it's just nothing better than. Mum's Christmas tree. Is there Milo looking at my Crocs? Look, this is all of the little baubles. I bought Mum this um, in London, Liberty, because Liberty is my mum's favourite shop ever um, in London. If you haven't been, it's a really nice shop in London that sells like different fabrics and just really nice clothes and bags and stuff and there should be another liberty bauble that i got her in like 2019 and then i got her another one as well it's sort of become a bit of a trend i can't actually find the other one i just love christmas so much and look even this the night before christmas right anyway I haven't even like fully said what's going on right now. So it's now Saturday. I'm back from Chloe's. I left really early this morning. We had a bit of a messy night as always in true naughty trio style. Then I came home this morning and now it's currently Saturday. It's the day of my mum's Christmas party it's not really a christmas party it's more like a gathering do they know it's christmas time yeah that'll be good bonnie's here looking my legs are not long enough god mum i blame you for my legs thing. i love your legs look at mum abby's legs are not long enough Welcome back to my vlog. I'm speaking very quiet because I'm on literally the train station platform, so I'm getting a bit camera shy. So it's 12.04, I'm getting the 12.06 train to London. Today is something really, 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 really exciting. I'm going to buy my dream bracelet. Well, I've already got 
like one of my dream bracelets but i'm gonna go buy my second dream bracelet today so i've been on the waiting list and they basically said to me it's available now you sort of have to come tomorrow but luckily i was going to london anyway tomorrow because if you guys remember rightly i am going to the ivy and I'm going to go meet a few of the competition winners for the Ice Soap First competition that they did on their Instagram. So that would be really, really fun. I think it's just afternoon tea, which is nice. And yeah, and then just before that, I'm going to go to New Bond Street to the shop. Stay tuned. I'm literally so excited. I've wanted this bracelet for God knows how long. So it's just really exciting that today is the day. So come along with me and happy Sunday. Guys, I've just gone in and got my bracelet and I'm so excited. I couldn't film. I tried to film for you in there and you can't really get your camera out. So I tried, but look how stunning new bond street is look at party eh? like really interesting just wow. to have read that and then I need to take a picture of that so cute and guys look at tiffany with all the clouds i'm just obsessed with all of these christmas decorations ralph the has got about one million christmas trees so yeah I know it always it's amazing. Guys, look at that club's entrance. Even the dormant suits. Oh guys, how cute are these? I may have just got one. It's my Christmas present. I am literally just so obsessed. That one is just so cute. I was just thinking like like clubbing and stuff. How nice is that? But yeah, I'm just obsessed with the Prado itself. The lady said that these ones are like more like collector, 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 why can't I speak? They're more for like collectors and apparently these ones, they've only got these and this in the whole world. Did you say the world? So, but yeah, I am in love with that. But I feel like the secret one is more like every day. So. This is sparkles. So guys, I have started this vlog, well started this time in the Ivy, very very late because as you can see, we have all demolished it. Say hi girls, so these are the girls that won the ISO First competition. Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Lydia, very excited to be here. <laughs> My name's Priscilla, it's a very lovely time. <laughs> and hello! I just work here. <laughs> you, work in, you work in the yes, Ivy? I work at the Ivy. What do you like? <laughs> um, the person's come from Manchester. Yes. And yeah, this Ivy is actually so nice. I've, so I've never been here before, but it's actually so lovely. And I really wish I showed you guys. You should insert the pics. Yeah, should I? Insert pics. Because yeah. I really wish I showed you guys what this looked like. The pictures are going to be right here. Here. Um, so I really wish I showed you guys, but obviously you're going to see a picture. But it literally, it looks like um, the Mad Hatter Tea Party. Ivy Tower Bridge. And if you guys want Arsenal Tea in London, this is the best place. Isn't it, girls? But right, I'm gonna go now. But yeah, see you guys later. No, I think yeah. Guys, look at this view. Just come out of the ivy, and it's just stunning. Oh, and look at the shard. I forgot what it's called then. Look at the shard. It's just so Christmassy, guys. <laughs> I am pretty sure this is like the most interesting walk to a train station I think I've ever had. Look at this. 
on the way to the station, we've just literally come across the most Christmassy ball I think I've ever seen before in my life. Like, how cute is this? So adorable. So, guys, I thought I would show you the bracelet. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? So I was really, really, really debating on whether getting the silver one or the rose gold one, as you guys may or may not know. As you guys may or may not know, I am very rose gold. My watch is rose gold, if not is silver. So my other arm for my birthday, as you guys may or may not know, I got this bracelet, which is rose gold, silver there. So I'm very rose gold, silver. Um, I know obviously gold is very in, but yeah, I've just really stuck to rose gold at the moment. So anyway, there was a silver one with a pearl inside and I loved it. But the, the man in the shop said that this one is much more um, wearable as in like you don't need to take it off because obviously the pearl bit inside, that's not waterproof. So you need to take it off in the shower. You need to take it off. Um, you can't sleep in it. Well, I don't know if you can sleep in it, but he's, he basically said that this one, you don't ever need to take it off at all. You can sleep in it, you can go in the shower in it. Um, they were the same price and everything, but I just thought, wow. So I'm gonna wear this on my right wrist, because um, the man, he was actually so helpful. He said that I shouldn't wear it on the same wrist as my watch. So, yeah. But I'm honestly so happy with the bracelet, and I feel like, I feel like it's one of the bracelets that I've wanted for a very, very long time now. So I am extremely lucky that I have it. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here now because I'm going to start my new vlog. Obviously it's weekly. So week two vlogmas is now done. I hope you guys all love this vlog. And yeah, it's Monday actually today. So I'm going to start the new vlog today. I will see you all in the new week three vlog. See you later.